And the fourth and final game of the December 1991 LSAT tells us that we have four planes, no others, that are available to fly in an air show. And these planes again, one, two, three, and four. It then tells us the following conditions. The first condition is that pilots Anne, Bob, and Sydney are all aboard planes that are flying in the show, and they're the only qualified pilots in the show. So we have three qualified pilots, Anne, Bob, and Sydney, all three of whom are going to be aboard airplanes. The second condition tells us that we have co-pilots, Dave, Ed, and Fran, that are all flying in the show, and they're only qualified co-pilots in the show. The third condition tells us that no plane flies in the show without a qualified pilot aboard. So if a plane flies, we must have a qualified pilot. The fourth condition tells us that no one but qualified pilots and qualified co-pilots flies in the show. So again, the only people we are placing are A, B, and C, D, E, and F. And then the fifth condition tells us that Anna will fly only in either plane one or plane four. Which tells us that we cannot have Anna on planes two or three. And since we have to have a pilot, the only possibilities would be Bob and Sydney. The sixth condition tells us that Dave will only fly in either plane two or plane three. So Dave can't be first, can't be fourth. So you notice what that means is that Dave must be two or three, and Dave will be flying with B or C. And that is the setup for this game. Keep in mind that not every single plane will be used as you go through this game. Nothing says each plane must have at least one person aboard it and again note that the condition that tells us that no plane flies in the show without a qualified pilot would prevent all four of these planes from flying simultaneously in this show because we only have three pilots but we have four airplanes and that would be the setup for this game